How to install mods on Minecraft PC is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well as it gets this video to more people. So within this tutorial, I'm showing you the full process of getting Minecraft mods. From finding Minecraft mods to installing them, it's all in this video. So any further ado, let's go and get into this. As you can see, I'm now on my computer and let's go and continue with this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is go and open up a new internet browser. So I personally use Google Chrome, so I'm going to come to Google Chrome and as you can see I'm on Google and the first site you want to go to is called Forge. Now essentially Forge is the first part of how we install mods. Forge is sort of an add-on for Minecraft which we can then use Forge to run the Minecraft mods. So without Forge, we can't run any mods. So let's go and get this. So you want to come to Google and all you need to do is enter Forge, but do keep watching as I'm showing you the full install process and much, much more. As you can see, then we want to come to files.minecraftforge.net, click there and I'll click accept. And as you can see, we've now got these two options here. As you can see, this is downloaded to Minecraft Forge MC 1.16.4. Therefore, we need to go and make sure we have ran this version of Minecraft on our computer. So I'm going to go and open up Minecraft. So you want to open up your Minecraft launcher, uh, open it up, and then once it loads, come on installations and click new. Now, obviously, this is only applying um, for the for the version it says here. So it's probably going to be a later version when you watch this tutorial. So because of that you then need to go and match the same version so currently it's 1.16.4 but it's going to be different for you if that makes sense so yeah um, i'm just going to go and name this test and as you can see 1.16.4 click create and it's now gone and added it down here hopefully boom there we go so i'm going to go and click play and it's going to actually go and download it it's preparing it it's probably going to download it quickly um and what i want to do is quickly run it um just so it's ready for forge okay now i've opened it up that's absolutely fine so now we've run the version of minecraft you can then go and choose which one you want i'm personally use the recommended one and all you want to do is go and pause add box i'm going to click always and then go and click on the installer and now it's going to go and start the download as you can see you've just got to watch five seconds of ads and then we can go and get the download of forge so as you can see it's now downloading and you're going to get this pop saying this type of file can harm your computer as it's a java file so then all you want to do is go and click keep now if you don't see this sort of coffee um java logo you need to go and get java to do this all you want to do is simply go to java Google Java and as you can see it's java.com and you need to go and download Java uh, for this to work otherwise you may not be able to run the files um, so make sure you have done that. Anyways now we've got Forge let's go and run it. So what I want to do is click on Forge and it's going to open it up. Now as you can see we've got this option here we want to install client so we want to install the client version so that will be already selected and then you need to go and choose where Minecraft currently is so this is my path and this should be the default path um, but you may need to change that if you get an issue and you've moved Minecraft somewhere else so I'm going to go and click OK and as you can see it's now going downloading everything I'm um, getting everything ready and you're just going to let it do its thing basically as you can see, I've now got this pop-up saying successfully installed the client profile for version 1.16.4. So go and click OK. And there we go. Forge is now installed. So we'll go and check this. So all you want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher. So I'll click mine down here and it's going to go and open up the launcher. And all you want to do is click on this tab again and simply scroll down until you see Forge. So I'm going to look for this. As you can see, 1.16.4-Forge, that is the one we want. And it's got also the logo as well. So click there like so and then you can go and click play and as you can see here you're about to play a Minecraft Java Edition installation that has been modified so that's fine just make sure you understand it and click play so it's going to take a minute to load as you can see it has to do a few downloads so that's just one thing to consider and it's now opening it up and as you can see it does look a bit different but this is completely normal so don't worry so wait for it to do its thing it's just doing scans and stuff so you just gotta wait and as you can see it's now going and running so it shouldn't be too long till we get to the home screen hopefully and then I'll be going and showing you the next part. So then once you're on Minecraft, you're gonna have this option here, you've got mods. So click on mods. As you can see, we're now in the mods part of Forge. So the next step is actually going and clicking open mods folder. So it's now opened up our mods folder. Now, as you can see, we can go and drag mods we want into here. So let's go and find some mods. Now let's go and download some mods. There are many different sites where you can get some Minecraft mods. Uh, I'm gonna go and personally use one site called Curse. Forge Minecraft mods, uh, just like so, Curse Forge Minecraft mods, and all you want to do is come to this site here. Wait for it to load, as you can see we're now here. Now I'm going to go and test out just enough items, so click on it there, 
and then it's going to take you here. Now go and read out the description, you can see everything this does. This basically helps you find recipes for certain items in Minecraft. So to then go and find the right version, you need to come up to where it says description, to the right it's going to say files. Now when you click on files, it's going to give you a ton of different versions and names. Now just make sure you download the right version of Minecraft basically. So I'm personally using 1.16.4, so I'm going to go and hit the download button just here and it's gonna go and start downloading as you can see a few seconds and it's hopefully gonna drop down here in, in a minute or two. So yeah, as you can see, boom, it's now downloaded, click keep, and then I'm gonna go and find my mods folder and drag this in. So I've now got my mods folder open, as you can see, I'm gonna go and drag it in. So I'm gonna grab it here, just like so, and drag it into my folder. It would have just gone off my screen a bit. As you can see, it's now in there. So I'm gonna close this and then go and open up Minecraft. So I'm gonna click on the launcher again, and gonna make sure it's gone and running on Forge. As you can see, and go and click play, and then run it through, and I'll show you once it's all ready. So as you can see, we're now on the Minecraft home screen. Let's go and click mods, and boom, as you can see, just enough items. That's exactly what I downloaded. So I'm gonna go and click on done, and then go and show you into a game. So I'll click single player, and go and click creative, and uh, let's go and check this out. So we'll take a minute to load, and uh, then I'll show you what this does. So this is gonna work with literally any mod, like I said before, um, which is on the same version. And as you can see, I click E, and boom, we get all the recipes. So let's go and find an item we could craft. So I'm gonna keep looking so we could do a sign. So click on the oak sign, boom. As you can see, it then tells you how to craft it. If you go and click on a bed, it's gonna tell you how to craft it. And then if you say you wanted to know how to craft wool, you click on it and it shows you how to go and make yellow wool. And then to go make white wool, you can go and use string. So guys, I hope you did find that useful. I upload so many different Minecraft tutorials on this channel. So I really would appreciate if you could go and check more of them out. And I'll put them on the screen in just a moment. But also, if you did find this helpful, please consider subscribing as well. As there's got a ton more Minecraft tutorials coming out very, very soon. Which I'm sure you're going to be finding really, really useful. Um, as well as just more general awesome tutorials which may help you out uh, with your technology. It's uploaded a ton of technology videos, so I'm sure they'll come in to help with you. But also guys, if you have any specific ideas you have for tutorials regarding Minecraft or just any uh, technology, please do leave them down below as well, as it means I can make specific tutorials which you guys actually wanna see and that I can help fix any problems you have with that. But yeah, if you are excited for the future of the channel, please leave a comment down below. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers and hopefully we can hit that this year. So I would really appreciate you subscribing. But I really appreciate you watching this video. Have a very awesome day. And I hope you go and go and enjoy Minecraft with a ton of mods. Peace out.